you're very unhappy about um well we are obeying the rules Kurdish Serbs are firing that's, that's all that's happening here they're ignoring a NATO ultimatum and they're just firing they're, they're firing on Ingman Road and that is happening for the last two months we are doing everything to force them through the UN to obey that resolution but they simply ignore them and of course now they're trying to compensate our successes outside of Sarajevo zone by shelling Sarajevo. That's all that's happening. They're trying to make up for Kupres here near Sarajevo. I urge them not to uh, carry out any further offensive actions from uh, within an enclave, and of course Sarajevo is, is an enclave, because the consequences could indeed cause the unravelling of a whole peace press, particularly in a place like Sarajevo, which is the capital city of Bosnia-Herzegovina. And he agreed that he would halt all further military action. Uh, I've also asked him if he would uh, uh, send a senior military commander to attend a meeting at the airport. I hope to be able to do that tomorrow in order to be able to talk to the other side. And I hope we can get uh, some movement, uh, permanent movement, in uh, creating a demilitarized zone for Sarajevo. There have been a much higher levels of conflict uh, throughout the entire 1600 kilometer line of conflict. And the uh, actions we saw out of Sarajevo last night, I don't think were central to the attacks that were taking place elsewhere. But I think there were consequences of them because people were highly charged, uh, somewhat intoxicated. And I think that this was a, a result of that rather than of some planned strategy. It is, however, extremely dangerous. It is in violation of the United Nations Security Council Resolution 836 of the 9th of February Airport Agreement and, of course, of the NATO ultimatum, which applies equally to both sides. In the past, you've been quoted as saying that um, the UN won't fight the Bosnians' battle for them. Do you think that what happened last night really was an attempt by the Bosnian government side to create um, an attack on Sarajevo that would bring in NATO on the Bosnian side? As a peacekeeping force, it is not our business to fight anybody's battle for them. We're here sustaining, uh, with the UNHCR, uh, the humanitarian aid program, and we're here to keep open the paths to peace. And I think that uh, if people are committing themselves uh, to an all-out war, and of course any sovereign country has the right to recover its lost territory by war, then of course they should not do it uh, based on a peacekeeping mission where we in one area may be defending them and they're attacking from somewhere else because of course that would be uh, extremely uh, hazardous for my peacekeeping troops here who have sent have been sent here voluntarily by their countries to try and bring about a peaceful solution to the problems of this country, not a war.